previously on One Life to Live. Nothing like a storm to help you see the truth. I'd like to tell you that it isn't what it looks like, but it is. See what's really important. The baby Carrie's carrying for me, she's mine, and Antonio's. All that matters is love. If you think that Jessica needs you right now, you gotta go. Snow's still falling. Mother Nature's not quite through with us yet. Wake at night to be alone, land you. Stay warm. Reach out to that special someone. Troy? It's me. I think what happened tonight is for the best. I think in time you'll realize that. Call me when you get home. I'll be here. Nora. Why should I stand here and listen to one thing you have to say? Look, Nora, I know that it looked bad. Looked bad? Looked bad? The man who claimed to love me. I do love you. The man who I was going to marry in one week is having sex with, of all people, Lindsay Rappaport, and he only cares about whether it looked bad? Nora, would you please just let me There is explain. nothing you can say to justify this. I did what I did because Lindsay knew about my wife. Your wife? Your wife? <laughs> my God, Troy! How many more secrets are there? on your feet. Mrs. Vega, I was released from the hospital. I'm fine. But in this weather, what happens if you slip and fall? I'm taking very good care of myself and the baby. Okay. Have you heard from Antonio? He said he was going to stop by here on his way back from New York. No, you know, he, I expected him to be home already. He must have hit off all traffic. <sighs> Excuse me? Antonio! Where is Antonio? RJ. What's the matter? service with a smile? You ever hear of dropping dead? Al, oh. oh. hi. Hey. Hi, can I join you? Yeah, uh, have a seat. It's funny, I'm, I'm meeting Andrew, but uh, I'm really glad that I get a chance to talk to you first. What's up? When your pa was drunk the other day in the palace bar, I'm worried about him because... Alice is only gonna get worse. <sighs> Max, had to take care of some business. Be back in a few hours. Make yourself at home. Andrew.
What are you doing here? I thought you were in London. Well, I was. I'm back. Well, I'm trying to get back. My flight had to land in New York, and the storm is just unbelievable. Yeah, tell me about it. So I'm getting a connecting train here to land you. <sighs> what are you doing here? This is so weird. Well, I was uh, working on a case in New York. I thought I'd try to get on the road before it became impossible, but oh, forget that. Yeah. So, uh, tell me. How was London? Cold. <laughs> I was with my dad, uh, Clint. Yes, it must have been nice to spend time with him. It was. He's really special. He's amazing, actually. But I realized that I had to come back. Can't run away from your problems. Yeah, it never works, does it? No. They always seem to be waiting for you when you get back. Yeah. I really hurt my mom when I left my you. But I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna make everything right. Excuse me. Hi. Yes, I'm on your uh, uh, 3515 Express to London. Can you tell me where um, we're going to be boarding? I really can't say. The weather's delayed all the flights. But hopefully it won't be too much longer, ma'am. Listen for the announcement. Thanks. I found Vicki Davidson. Yes, sir. How do you want me to proceed? Were you planning on committing bigamy on top of everything else here? My wife's dead. She died in Africa. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, Nora. I wanted to. I even no, no, tried no, no, to no, a no, no. Times, I have Nora. been married twice. I never kept that from you. Soldier Northern, I'd have to tell you how she died. My wife started playing games with me. She started flirting with different men. It was just a game. She wasn't cheating on me or anything, but she wanted me to think that she was. And why would she do that, Troy? Because you were sleeping around with every woman in Africa, just like you've been sleeping around with Lindsay? Would you let me explain, please? Get to the point. When I realized what my wife was doing, how she was humiliating me like that, I got angry. So I got even. How? I made love to her. And I pretended that I was calm. What? I made her think that I was my own twin brother. That she'd been unfaithful by sleeping with Colin. That's disgusting. I know it is. You're absolutely right. And my punishment was she ran. I tried to stop her. I tried to get her to listen to me. I tried to tell her that it was just a game. She was gone. I couldn't reach her. She was out the door. We lived on the cliffs, overlooking the Zambezi River. She fell. And she died. Yeah. And I've had to live with it ever since. So am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No. That it's forced you to do all these things that you're doing now? I don't understand how this has anything to do with Lindsay. My wife's name was Joanna. When she gave Yes. But a woman betrayed? Yes. The one who drowned the painting she called Joanna? Yes. She knew? Uh, I am so Lindsay sorry. Lindsay knew this whole time? You and she have been sharing this secret for months. on a flight to London. I'm on it. Not yet. You're one of Mitch's people, aren't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. You give your little leader a message from me. I don't care how many people he has to keep tabs on me. I'm not afraid. Ma'am, I don't know what you're and talking about. And one more thing. 
will tell him he will never, ever hurt any of my family again. no better in D.C. So much for our night on the town. Actually, I think I'd prefer to spend it in the hotel room anyway. You know what? I am so glad we're doing this. <laughs> I cannot believe that I've got you all to myself. Well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> At least no police business, nobody else's personal problems. Bo? Hi. Hello, Hello, Gabrielle. I thought you were uh, be on your way to London. My flight's been delayed. Where are you two off to? Washington. You know my friend. Oh, go. Yes, the guy in the FBI. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna f find something on Lawrence. He hasn't tried to contact Jessica, has he? Well, not that I know of. No. But you know what? He doesn't care about Jessica. He says he does, but he doesn't. All he cares about is getting revenge. Anybody who's ever tried to stop him has to be made to pay. That man is so disgusting. Okay, take it easy. Take it. Anyway, I'm glad that Jesse is in good hands with Clint and far away from Mitch Lawrence. Going home is the right thing to do, I'm sure of it. So, Jessica, does your family know you're coming? Um, I tried to call Lanfair and there was no answer. And when I tried my mom on her cell, no luck. So what? The storm keep you in? Man who's finest forgot his snow tires this winter? Why are you taking the train? My engine started acting up and I didn't want to chance it. Mm. Time for a new car. Yeah, well, not everyone can just slap down their platinum card, princess. <sighs> so, uh, any word as to when the train's supposed to be here? I guess whatever it feels like him. So, um, how's Carrie? She must be pretty far along by now, right? Six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait to get home to her. And, uh, Christian, when I left, he... Good news. Good news. The whole case against him was thrown out. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Natalie must be so happy. Yeah, yeah, everybody is. Well, at least those two kids are together now. What about Mitch Lawrence? When I left here... Well, supposedly there's, there's going to be an annulment. The sooner the better. Oh, good. Natalie and Chris have been through enough. They should have been together a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, well, they would have been if it weren't for Jen Rappaport. It wasn't her fault she got pregnant. Well, no, I mean, after she lost the baby. Uh, you know, if she would have just let Chris go, then Natalie wouldn't have been on the rebound. Yeah, and she wouldn't have turned to Mitch. Yeah, and the worst part is Jen was working with Lawrence. What? And for all I know, she still is. You confide in Lindsay. No. And not in me, the woman you claim to love. I do love you. How long, Troy? That's all I want to know. How oh, long come have on, Nora. You, how long have you and Lindsay been sharing this dirty little secret? Come on, Nora. We're, you're freezing. Can we please just go inside I'm and not talk going about anywhere this? With you. I didn't confide in Lindsay, okay? She wanted to hurt me. She wanted to hurt us. So she kept digging till she found the one thing that she knew I could never tell you about. And she used it. And you allowed her to by keeping it from me in the first place. I couldn't tell you, Nora. You would never have loved me if you knew what I had done. You never gave me the chance. Maybe because I was afraid that you would hate me as much as I hate myself. Okay, so she found out about Joanna, and then what? What did she threaten to tell me? Yes. She wanted to destroy us. And I wasn't about to let that happen. I figured out a way to stop her. I knew that she wanted me. I knew she was obsessed with me. So you offered yourself up as I had to stop her from telling you. By having sex with her? Nora, I don't want her. I don't even care about her. I just did it. Oh, no, 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 please don't. Don't, don't say you did it for me. Don't say that you're sleeping I with me. I did it for, me. for us. Nora, I 
love you so much. And I would do anything not to lose you. I just hope I haven't lost you already. Come on. Just tell me there's still a chance. Your father since then? No, actually I haven't. Al, not only does he have no place to stay, he's just not dealing with the divorce, the aftermath, anything. Well, my dad's tough. He'll bounce back. I I hope so. I Oh, Andrew, hi. Cold, huh? Yeah. Have hi, you Andrew. seen Max? Yeah, uh, he's with he's staying at the rectory with me. Oh, thank God. Al, I know it's difficult to see a father go through something like this. If you need someone to talk to, uh, I'm available. You know what? Thanks, but uh, I'm fine. Um, I, I gotta go. Um, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Mrs. Rappaport? It's Marcy Walsh. Jen's best friend. <laughs> um, could you call me as soon as you get this? You know, I I'm really worried about Jen. Why are you worried about Jen? Like I'm gonna tell you anything about Jen. Jen hates you. And so do I. Look, she wouldn't want me telling you anything about her. I heard you leaving a message for her mother. You sounded scared. I am. I'm scared that you'll start bothering her again. Look, Antonio's gonna be back from New York soon, so if you guys have a problem, I want to know about it right now. Well, then maybe I should tell you. I mean, you do have the right to know. RJ! Well, what's going on here? That's what I would like to know. Carrie just got out of the hospital. She can't deal with your problems right now. How selfish can you be? Mom, it's okay. No, it's not, Carrie. Look, your mother's right. I... I shouldn't have come running in here like that. No, RJ. Come on, I want to know. Tell me. No, it, it's nothing, really. I was just walking by, and I was already upset about something, and... I saw you in here, and I, I got mad at Antonio for sending you out in weather like this alone. Antonio would never leave him. Honey, let you her should go be out home. home. Just stop it. Everyone, stop treating me like a child. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I appreciate it. I do, but I am fine. The baby is fine. What was I thinking? I know you're upset, but the, you can't... Upset? Yeah. Look, you've been lying to me. You lied to Carrie about me. There's no way I'm going to let you lie to her about this baby. If Carrie has to find out the truth, will you at least let Antonio be the one to tell her? I'm serious, Jessica. It was all over the sun. Uh, Jen and Mitch Lawrence, partners in crime. Wow. She certainly is her mother's daughter now, isn't she? Yeah. Natalie and Christian are safe, though, right? Uh, somewhere Lawrence can't find them. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm so happy that Natalie has Christian. Yeah. Yeah, they're good together. She's... she's tough. I mean, she's never had anything handed to her. She... she knows what it's like to make something for yourself. She's... she's one of us. Oh, and that would be a, opposed to me, who would be one of them, right? I... I didn't mean it like that. Yes. It's okay. You know, I knew that you weren't wild about me when I was dating, Christian. You thought how I grew up, that we were too different. It's okay, we put it all behind us. Look, Jessica, what I meant was that Natalie isn't the kind of girl who would... have 
her initials on her suitcase. Well, excuse me for growing up on the wrong side of the tracks. You mean the right side? Well, I guess it all depends on where you're standing now, isn't it? Anyways, I'm, I'm really anxious to see Natalie. We have so much stuff to work out, and... Oh, my mom. I'm so excited to see her. I, it's all I can think about, you know? I just want to get back there and put everything behind us. Uh, it's like the tenth time you've said that. You sure I'm the one you're trying to convince? Clint said that she wasn't doing terribly well, which is why I'm on my way to London. Ricky, I'm very sorry to hear this. Let's hope the snow lets up so we can all take off. Actually, Clint called earlier and left me a message, but it was so garbled I couldn't understand a word of it. Well, apparently the storm has knocked out some of the phone lines, I think. Oh, I expected it was, yeah. I actually tried to call him back, but I couldn't get through. Mm. Oh, hang on. Hello, Clint? Mom? Mom, it's me, it's Jessica. Mom, can you hear me? It's Jessica. Is, is anyone there? Mom, it's Jessica. I'm coming home, okay? I'm on my way. I got cut off. Did you tell who it was? No, it was nothing but static. All right. Check the incoming number. Oh, good idea. It's a New Jersey area code. I can't even imagine who that is. Any luck, Jessica? I tried, but the connection was like... Nothing. I could hear her, but I could tell she couldn't hear me. Well, no, we'll try in a little while. Um, I hope this train gets here soon because you're not the only one who has something important to take care of. Back home. Stay here. Excuse me. officer okay there's been an accident a passenger bus and a car have crashed the car is flipped onto the tracks due to the weather it's going to be a while before we can get an ambulance in here so in the meantime is there a doctor in the house i'm a nurse perfect i'm going to need you to come with me this is an emergency what the hell are you doing changing outfits we need bandages do you have a better idea what the hell did you get this behind the ticket counter officer good move Nurse, come with me. Did you hear that? No word yet on casualties, but once again, there's been an automobile crash just off Route 9 in New Jersey at Morristown Train Depot. Several vehicles were involved. Initial reports say one of the vehicles, a beige SUV, veered off the road and hit a bus. All train service between New York and Philadelphia has been suspended. Route 9, Antonio is coming back that way. The description fits the... fits Antonio's car. Jessica? Can you please get a message to Vicki Davidson? Let her know that Jessica Buchanan is, is here and, and she's fine. 
Well, I'll try, but the phones aren't always working in the storm. Tell Carrie I love her, and I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Look, I have to get back. I'm, I'm helping out. Antonio, are you there? Hello? Hey, is he all right? Is he on his way home? He's at the site of the accident, but he's fine. <sighs> it seems like he's helping out with the rescue. Oh. And he told me to tell you to send his love. See? <laughs> My heart is <laughs> okay. a mile a minute. Well, sit down. <laughs> Imagine how she'll react if you tell me the truth. All I see is my daughter getting her heart broken by two people who say they love her. No blue love, Carrie. I'd keep this a secret till the day I died if I could, but I can't. But you can't. I know that. But if there's any hope, any hope at all, that Carrie's going to understand, then Antonio has got to be the one to tell her. He is the only one that has any chance of making this right. Well, he does not deserve the chance to make things right. See, he gave that up when he slept with you. I just wish that there was more that I could do for Max, short of pulling him out one more time. Renee, you have done everything a good friend can do. And the good news is, Max has people who care about him and who love him a lot. But that is exactly when he pushes those people away. Dad. Dad. Hey, son. What you doing? Oh, you know. Thinking of Luna? Yeah. I do that a lot lately. I miss her too, Dad. But she's gone. I know that. Do you really? Of course I do. Dad. Every time something bad goes down, you start thinking of her. You know, you, you pull away, and, and it's like you think that, that she's going to be able to help you. Like, you think that she has the answer to all your problems. Sometimes I think she does. So what are you going to do, Dad? Are you just going to live here with Andrew forever? I just, I just got here, which, look, I really haven't given it any thought yet. Well, maybe you should, Dad. Al, I'm gonna bounce back from this, All right? Now, how are you doing? All right, you know, living at the dorm. Not what I meant. How's school going? I had to take a couple incompletes mm. last semester. It's really not a big deal, you know? I, I should probably, uh, I should probably get going. I got a lot of studying to do. You sure you don't want to stick around until this storm blows over? No, um, I'm gonna be fine. Besides, you got all the company you need. <sighs> yeah, I'm great, Dad flunking half my classes. I'm about to be expelled. So that's it? That's it? That's your explanation? That's the truth, right? That you loved me so much that you kept secrets, lied, and slept with Lindsay Rappaport? Uh, Nora, it wasn't like that. My God, you are as sick and as twisted as she is. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I mean, how could I have fallen in love with you? I don't even know who you are. I am still the same man that you love. I should have trusted my first instincts about you when I couldn't sleep with you. When I looked in your eyes and I saw Colin there. It's not Colin. You're no different. Don't say that. You want to be. Don't say that. You want to be different. You tried to prove that you were different. The good twin. You took his money, you set up a free clinic, you masquerading as a caring doctor. You even convinced yourself stop. that you were in love with me. I am in love with you, no, Nora. You're not. Don't you no, see? you're not. You're not. Yes. No. You want to be. You want to be. Because it would um, make you feel good about yourself. Because then you'd be a good person. And 
I, I bring you respectability. And you want to be respectable. But you didn't. You didn't sleep with Lindsay. To shut her up. On some level. You just wanted to sleep with don't, her. Don't, don't, no. Nora, don't even say that, okay? So what is it about her, Troy? What is it that you want more than you want don't me? Do what this. is it? Is don't it do this. what turns you on so much? Is don't it because do she's this, so okay? Just stop, please, okay? None of this changes the fact, Nora, that I love you and you love me. I could have accepted what happened in Africa if you had loved me enough to trust in me, to trust in us. What I can't accept is the lying and the cheating. What I saw tonight, when I saw you both tonight, it destroyed any feelings that I had for you. It's over. You've made mistakes too, Nora. Oh, yes, I have. And I've paid for them. But I didn't make this one. You did. You made this choice. You live with it. Okay, I'm afraid I have some bad news. No, airport's closing. Oh, no! All flights are grounded indefinitely. Cheers. What about Asa? Would he lend me his plane? Oh, nothing's gonna fly out of here tonight. Oh, I, I don't accept that. I've got to get to London now. Jessica, just make sure that arm is stable, okay? Okay. Be careful. You got anything to eat, beautiful? Uh, hey, Penny, listen, uh, everybody, I was able to get through to the EMTs. We got an ambulance coming through. It should be here any minute. The party's just beginning. Why are you spoiling the fun? Listen, you start leading everyone in the Macarena, I'm out of here. What are you guys doing over here? You know the light? They should be here any minute, okay? Just hang in there. How you doing, partner? All right, all right, take care of them. What are you doing? Does it look like I'm doing it? Feeding the troops?
If you scream, it's all over. The money is in the safe. Take anything you want. Oh, we don't want your money. We want your daughter. What, what, do, you, what, what do you mean? What, what, who, who are you? Just tell us where she is. I don't know where she is. Don't hurt her. Don't hurt her. You promise me you won't hurt her. But... We will find her. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. It's One Life to Live. Don't be afraid, boys and girls. Please keep my family safe for Mitch Lawrence. Sometimes when you're lost, I'm going to tell Carrie the truth. You find exactly what you're looking for. Oh, my God! Don't want to wait until the weekend to see all of this week's One Life to Live episodes? Catch same-day episodes weekdays at 5 p.m. and again at 9. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete schedule. SoapNet, today's episode tonight.